Hey guys, welcome back to What the Peg. I'm Barbara. I'm covering for Alvaro today. This is my co-host. Sofia. Hola, ¿cómo están? And then we have. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Alex. And we have a special guest. San Ramon Vintage is his business, and his name is Angel Ramon. Hola. Hola. hola ¿Cómo hola, estás? ¿cómo están? Bien, bien. bien. Muchas gracias and por we're, tenerme. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited to get to know him and talk about how thrifting is very sustainable and the new wave. It's what's trending right now. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yo quisiera empezar preguntándote cómo empezaste con con tu pequeña tienda. ¿Es una tienda? ¿Es bueno, una tienda física? No, antes tenía tienda como a los 16, 17. Es cuando tenía una tienda física, pero era durante COVID y así como todo estaba en quarantine y okay. no estaba viendo la escuela. Ah, so okay. ten, en ese tiempo tenía una tienda, pero después regresé a la escuela y pues ya uh -huh. no tuve tiempo con todo lo de high school, senior year, o sea, se complica todo, ¿no? Pero sí. después... O sea, ahorita ya nomás vendo online, Depop, cosas así. Ok. Pero... I love Depop. Yeah. <laughs> it sells a lot. I saw on there. Yeah, it sells a lot. I just sold something right now as we were talking. ¿En serio? Yeah. <laughs> Qué padre. Yeah. That's how I made money when I didn't have a job. Yeah. Sell my clothes. <laughs> yeah. But primero empecé, creo, como a los 14. A los wow. 14. Wow. Primero, a los 12. Bien chiquito. Estaba vendiendo zapatos, como sneaker reselling, stuff like that. Nice. Y después, a los 14, es como... Que tenía ya los zapatos y tenía como 30 pares, o sea, okay. tenía muchos zapatos y yo como, pero no tengo ropa, o sea, con qué ponerme, mm, pero no, okay. o sea, yo vengo de puro, o sea, puro de gente de trabajo, o sea, sí. de playeras de 100 dólares, o sea, yo nunca estuviera uh -huh. comprando, o sea, so yo me iba a La Pulga o sí. me, me iba como al Goodwill, uh -huh. thrift stores en San Antonio y iba y buscaba diferentes ropas, o sea, diferente ropa que iba con los zapatos uh -huh. y tal y... Después muchos amigos, hey, pues, ¿por qué no los vendes? ¿O por qué no empiezas a vender? Y yo como, no, pues sí, conocí a, a alguien que antes tenía tienda aquí, uh, Irving Salinas. Okay. Y él tuvo tienda así como en La Pulga. Okay. Y él me empezó a enseñar como, oh, pues ir a ir aquí, aquí y tal. Y pues los puede ven me puedes venir a vender a mí y así. Entonces so, empecé a vender como a los 14. Y e hice la página que primero se llamaba Random Thrift Finds, o sea, okay. cosas que yeah, yo encontraba. Sí. Uh -huh. Y después, como al año que tenía la página, creció un poco y pues le estaba platicando que agarré el nombre de San Ramón Vintage uh -huh. de mis abuelos. Tienen, mm, okay. tienen tienda San Ramón Glass, no sé si la, si la mm, conocen, okay. pero le agarré el nombre a mi, a mi abuelo, así tipo honoring the name de yeah. San Ramón y, y así, así empecé a tener la tienda ya tengo cuatro años que estoy, o sea, thrifting, que uh -huh. tengo thrift selling así, pero creo que son tres, tres años, tres años y medio que tengo la página que okay. ahora es San Ramón Vintage. ¿Y cuántos años tienes? Me impresionó bastante porque estás bien chiquito. <risa> 18, 18 tengo. Wow. Sí, son. Qué me. padre. Oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't know you were that young. Yeah, sí. 18. Yes. Much, muchos me dicen que, o sea, pues te pareces que tienes más y porque uh -huh. también pues yeah. todos los que hacen el, thrift, el thrifting y reselling y así, tienen gente que, mayor. Sí, 22, uh -huh. 25. El, el Ay, joven. bueno, no tan mayor. Ah. <risa> Eso ya no es Bueno, tan no, bien. o sea, es más adulto, es lo yeah. que uh -huh. quiero decir. Empiezan sí, sí, a los sí. 22. El más joven que conozco tiene como 21, 22, pero ya es, es mucha gente. Antes, sí. antes nomás era, éramos como 5, 8 que hacíamos el, el selling y así, o sea, todo el reselling, vintage selling. Sí. Y después ahorita ya vas como a los eventos. Hay un evento que hacemos cada mes en Frontera Beer Garden. Oh, okay. yeah. y like pop -up, right? Es un pop-up tipo uh -huh. como pulita que uh -huh. todos yeah. se ponen a vender. Y ahí pues primero empezamos como con ocho vendedores, diez vendedores que... O sea, en ese tiempo ya habían como 20 gente aquí en Laredo que estaban vendiendo. Okay. Uh -huh. Y ahora tenemos como 30, 40 personas Person. que que venden aquí en Laredo y, y muchos van a vender ahí, pero sí. And they're selling vintage clothes as well yeah. or different things? Uh, some people sell vintage, some people sell jewelry, some people oh. sell little knickknacks. Yeah, or... I think I used to have like a little, I used to do custom Air Force Ones. Oh, cool. Uh, cool. And I, I had a pop-up at Nido. Oh, okay. I don't, yeah. I don't think I... Been to that one? Yeah. Oh, but okay. No, yeah, I know, yeah. I know there's a lot of like small business pop-ups and I was, I was just saying how like, Like now, it's it's a lot easier for people to, you know, start a small business to be supported, yeah, sí. and it's it's really nice how that like that uh, community and that environment has come to Laredo, yeah. where it's like more support towards small businesses rather than buying 
you know, from online or elsewhere, you know, where it's yeah. like, you could just get it here in the radio. Exactly. So I guess talking about that, um, I was watched a TikTok the other day and I thought about you, right? I thought about that TikTok when mm-hmm. I, interview, sorry, yeah. we talked, <laughs> um, but this girl was talking about how like, um, she can't win because if she buys designer clothes, people judge her because she could use that money to help other people. Yeah. And if she buys um, clothes from Shein or yeah. like other like places like Zara and stuff, mm-hmm. like um, it's fast fashion yeah. and there's people suffering. So she's like, so I can't win. Yeah. But I think the middle ground where she can, like we can mm-hmm. all like do our part is um, buying vintage clothes. Yeah. I think that's amazing. I don't know if you can talk about that. Yeah, a bit. no, definitely. I think the, the fast fashion industry is like a really hard topic for this generation because like, like you said, I mean, like thrift stores originally are for lower income families. Yeah. And now because of people like me, mm-hmm. you know, prices are going up because True. people like the thrift stores are like, oh, they're making money off mm-hmm. of us. And, yeah. you know, and it's like the, the one defense us resellers always say is like, oh, there's enough for everyone. And there is there is enough clothing. I mean, if you look at the landfills, well, the pieces same. are all different. Yeah. And yeah. the pieces are all different. You know, it's like it's not like we're taking everything, you know, yeah. like it's like a lot of people take, you know, a couple a couple of things. But. No, yeah, I mean, if you look at the landfills, it's filled, you know, like, it's one of the worst things to our, our environment. Yeah, and mm-hmm. some people do just throw their clothes away. Yeah. They're like, I don't See? like these shoes anymore. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and it's like, they'll mm-hmm. just throw it away, and it's like, you know, you could just donate them, you know, that's yeah. that's one big thing, but it's like, fast fashion is a horrible, Yeah, and honestly, like, I, I'm going to throw myself under their bus, but like, a couple years ago, maybe like, two or three years ago, mm-hmm. I was ignorant to fast fashion, I mm-hmm. had no idea about it, like, I was actually like, at a Forever 21 with one of my mm-hmm. friends, and he was like, I was like, oh my gosh, they're $10, yeah. like these earrings. He was like, damn, dude, like how much do you want the kids in China making them to make? Yeah. And I was like, that hit me. I was yeah. like, wait, what do you mean? Like, I never thought about the process behind like all yeah. of that. No, and it's, it's really sad because it's like a lot of people can't afford that. And it's like some people are forced to shop on Sheen because they can't yeah. buy See. Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. You know, some people can't afford Forever 21. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, so it's like, it's really sad because, you know, you want to do your part and it's like, but you can't afford clothes because now thrift stores are expensive. Yeah. You now it's like uh, one thing I did like come here wanting to say it's like yo cuando empecé o sea y yo iba a la pulga y yo siempre mm-hmm. pensé o sea eso es o sea ropa usada es ropa sucia mm-hmm. y hasta tenía amigos que me decían o sea te vas a poner eso o sea no huele feo o sea no tiene mm-hmm. que una bacteria o uh-huh. chino, cosas así sí, o sea yeah. mucha gente o sea saben cómo es aquí en Laredo mm-hmm. verdad pero pues o sea yo no podía ir a comprar cosas al mall o así o sea yo, yo me acuerdo con, cuando tuve mi pim, primer par de Jordans, fue mi tía que me los compró. Uh-huh. Mi tía creo que tenía un job en un bank y le estaba yendo bien, le dieron uh-huh. un raise y para mi birthday me dijo, oye, pues te voy y te compro unos Jordans y eran uh-huh. como los 50% off, eran como, uh-huh. no sé qué. Pero después fui a la escuela y me los puse y ah, se burlaban de mí porque no eran los Jordans que costaban 150, sí. no eran los Jordans oh, que costaban okay. 200. Uh-huh. O sea, y así es la gente, o sea, mucha yeah. gente se burla por todo, pero pues ahora es un trend y qué bueno que es un sí, trend porque yeah. te puedes poner lo que sea y aunque sea del, de la basura, o sea, mm-hmm. si se ve bien, ah, me gusta mucho cómo te viste, o sea, sí, yeah. de dónde agarras todo eso, ¿no? And you can always wash it, like, yeah, sí, yeah exactly. like you wash it, because uh-huh. I actually, when I was little, my mom would take me to thrift stores just because mm-hmm. she loves, like, digging and, like, finding, mm-hmm. like, she, you. yeah, she, mm-hmm. like, always flexes on me, like, she's like, guess how much, yeah. uh-huh. and it's, like, a nice outfit, and I'm, like, I'm always struck with yeah. like how mm-hmm. much she's like, sí. um, and like she's like, and you complain you don't have clothes, like you can just go mm-hmm. like sí. thrifting, whatever. Yeah. And I did. I used to like feel weird going. I was like, I it feels dirty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like now, like I love it. Yeah. And like every time I go, like you do have to dig, but I do find like great things. Some yeah. of my favorite things like are literally thrifted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. And then it's it's awesome because it's like when you find something really good or you yeah. find something that you love, you're like. Oh, I found you this. You get like Same. a high, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And it's really cool because it's like, like one thing for me, it's like, I think they call it like the thrill of the find. You know, it's like yeah. antique people like call it that or something like that. But it's like, there's been times where I find stuff that are like thousand dollar t-shirts, you know, mm-hmm. like two thousand dollars. So I think the most I sold a shirt for was like sixteen hundred dollars. You know, it's okay. like. A eight, shirt? Oh, yeah, one shirt. Wow. Okay. One shirt. Yeah. Wow. So like, me la encontré y yo había tenido una parecida. Y era de Cartoon Network. Era la de Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, nice. Y, I like uh-huh. that show. Yeah, it's a good show. An old show. Yeah, it's an old show. It's an old show. Yeah. 
Y lo bueno de esa playera es, es de era, creo que esas nomás se las daban a los employees de Cartoon Network. Oh. ¡Hala! Y, so it had a lot of value. Yeah. Sí. Yeah, y yeah, esa, Cartoon Network, it's done, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. done yeah. Cartoon Network. Yeah, I, th I think that show in particular was one of like the most popular shows for that shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that like, generation, they, they love that. They love yeah. uh, the, that, that show. The that show, show was yeah. crazy. No, I mean, there was a bunch of good shows back yeah. then. And like, mm -hmm. that's what vintage does for a lot of people. It like mm -hmm. brings back you know, the nostalgia. The nostalgia, exactly. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what a lot of people are looking for nowadays. And it's like, you see something like that. You're like, oh, you know, I remember that show. You know, and it's like. Yeah. Yeah. That show was fire. I loved it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was creepy. It was creepy. I, yeah. I, I know, it was scary, right? It was like the scary <laughs> cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, was, there was some weird you Cartoon Network night. shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, at night, it reminds me. Anytime I think of a show at night, I remind, it reminds me of the George Lopez song. The theme song. The, the, oh, yeah, da, yeah. Da, 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 yeah, but. Nick at night. Yeah, no, so. <laughs> Nick at yeah, night. There's, there's some really cool stuff that you find, and it's like, you, you never know what you'll find when you're thrifting, because mm -hmm. like, Basically, long story short, a friend of mine, his uncle had passed away and he was like a hoarder and he was a hoarder from the 80s. Mm -hmm. So he had like an 18 wheeler mm -hmm. s like stored up to the brim with wow. boxes Okay. and then in his garage boxes, like tons of tons of stuff. And like, I think I found like 50 pairs of like 1980s Levi's, stuff like that. Oh, wow. I found okay. a pair of Levi's from the 40s that was like a thousand dollar pair. So, wow. okay. Yeah, and then I found like a, a bar stool, like it was like a, a soda fountain stool, I think that's okay. what they're called. And I think it was from the 1920s. Mm -hmm. And I think that La was madre. like a thousand dollars. He's like, I was balling after. Uh -huh. o sea, ¿Qué pedo? 100 años tiene. Ahí o sea, guarda. Sí, o uh -huh. sea, en el, en el garaje ahí, o sea, uh -huh. tirada. And people probably thought it was like trash. Yeah, uh -huh. no, y eso es lo, lo bueno que ese, ese amigo mío sabía más o menos lo que tenían porque o sea cuando yo fui tenía como seis meses mm -hmm. o sea buscando to todo o sea entre todo y, y después o sea la, la gente mu muchas cosas de estas más la tiran mm -hmm. y pues tiene mucho valor o sea puedes agarrar algo que que para ti tenga mucho valor sentimental sí. o pues para un colector que sea o sea mm -hmm. una pieza que necesita para su collection y o sea mm -hmm. el holy grail que nunca va a tener o sea sí. y así pues también mucha mucha gente no entiende que vintage no nomás es, o sea, thrifting. Como hay, un, sí. hay una... Yeah, there's like designer vintage. Yeah, mm -hmm. like exactly. There's a lot of like things that really hold their value. Yeah, sure. and it's like, there's, there's like the separate like thrifting and there's like vintage. Porque pues yo tengo playeras de 5 dólar, de 10 dólar, mm -hmm. 20 dólar, 15 dólar, o sea, para vender aquí. Y después tengo las playeras de 100 dólar, 200 dólar, mm -hmm. 500 dólar que vendo online o a colectores, o sea. And those are people that are like educated in the vintage yeah. and like yeah because yeah. i don't i don't know too much about it because i've also um i'm familiar with a couple thrift stores in san antonio mm -hmm. and i was like why why is that so expensive mm -hmm. i bought like this looney tunes um pullover mm -hmm. and it was like really expensive and i didn't get it but i bought it because it was cool, was cool. and like mm -hmm. nobody else has it so yeah yeah, no. But yeah, I'm sure like a lot of vintage people like they have their pieces that they're looking for. Oh, for really sure, for yeah. sure, yeah. No, and, and the funny thing that you say about that that shirt that I sold for sixteen hundred dollars, realistically, I had sold one similar for around five hundred. So realistically, I think that one was only worth a thousand because of how rare it was. But two collectors were bidding against each other, <sighs> and they were like, "Yo te doy mil, yo te doy mil doscientos, and yeah. it went wow. up to sixteen hundred. O sea, y después ese mismo me dijo. O sea, te, te ofrezco $1,500 porque nomás quiero ver cuánto te va a ofrecer el otro. O sea, ah, él dice, uh -huh. oh, ahí tengo el dinero guardado, o sea, ahí, ahí uh -huh. lo tengo para gastar. O sea, te, lo, te ofrezco tanto y Qué nomás loco. quiero ver. De verdad, o sea. He was like, I'm not even going to bid on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But let's see how high he can go. Yeah, and he was like, there, like I'll give you the $1,500. Yeah, like, if, if, if he doesn't bid higher. Comes, yeah, yeah, he's like, if he doesn't bid higher, I'll give you the $1,500. Yeah, But cool. I just want to see if he'll bid sixteen hundred. That's wow. lit. That's a true homie. Shit, I, I like to me. And then yeah. I had like two. I think it was like a five hundred dollar shirt and like a two hundred dollar shirt that he needed for his collection. Mm -hmm. And I ended up just giving him the two hundred dollar shirt because he, he made me six hundred. Uh -huh. You know, it's like <laughs> that's like you think about it. and It's like damn, like you you would never know. Like yeah. these things could go up to that much, and it's like yeah. that's I like learned the every day. Shoes kind of too. Like oh, yeah. retail, they're not that expensive, and no. then resale goes like crazy. Resale goes crazy for like yeah. thirteen hundred for a yeah. pair of shoes that was like one fifty. Exactly, wow. exactly. And even the shoes, like like shoes are like pretty bad for the environment too. Like if Same. you think about it, it's like yeah. like going back to the fast fashion. Like I think it's like six hundred fifty gallons of water mm -hmm. that is used for one t-shirt. So Same. it's like, 
I think it's like 60,000 for like a batch of t-shirts. So like wow. if you're thinking of all the water used to grow that cotton for one shirt, like yeah. holy shit. Imagine shoes, the shoes. You know? yeah. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's like, so it's like, that's why the fast fashion industry is so bad on the environment. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like, I think it was like micro trends is, is the, the thing that it's called where it's like, like when those like holographic colors were in or it was like mm-hmm. certain mini skirts were in or stuff like that. It's like people say don't fall into those micro trends because sí. then two months later, lo vas a ir a tirar al, mm-hmm. you know, so it's like, yeah. and like one thing that like you will always see, always see when you're thrifting is sheen clothes. Like, yeah. You always mm-hmm. see like, I sheen, sheen, clothes. sheen clothes is, it's crazy how cheap it is. Yeah. It's like, like that's why I'm like, how much are like the people mm-hmm. making? Yeah. That's what worries me too. No, I, think like, they, I think they get like 10 cents a shirt, sí. at, like yeah. 20 cents a shirt, it's something insane. like that. Yeah, no, but yeah, no. So yeah, that's why the, the fashion industry is like, it's so good to thrift because if you save, you know, not only are you saving money, but you're mm-hmm. also helping your own uh, community because yeah. you're supporting these local thrift stores or mm-hmm. you're, support- you're supporting these local sellers and, you know, that money stays here and mm-hmm. you get to, you know, help everyone grow here and, See. like, be successful, you know? So it's like, sure. if you support someone like me, I will, you know, keep giving back to the community in my own way. Or, support you know, each form. other, yeah. Exactly. So it's... Yo tengo una pregunta. Mm-hmm. ¿Tú de dónde sacas la ropa? ¿Vas a... ¿Cómo, cómo le haces? ¿Cómo sí. es tu proceso? Pues yo tengo ya... Pues como tengo tantos años que, que tengo haciendo eso, o sea, yo tengo ya mi gente que me separa a mí. O sea, tengo... <risa> no, o sea, yo todavía <risa> voy... Sí, yeah, exactly. so, yo exactamente. O sea, yo todavía voy y lo busco, uh-huh. pero nomás me dejan a, a... O sea, esa gente nomás me vende a mí. Okay. O sea, tengo o sea, como una señora y un señor que nomás me venden a mí. Pero, o sea, para empezar a vender, o si empeza, quieres empezar a thrift, porque mucha gente me dice, yo voy a Goodwill, yo voy a Texas uh-huh. Thrift y nunca me sale nada. Sí. Yo como, vea la pulga. O sea, yo sí. he sacado mucha, muchísimas cosas en la pulga que, uh-huh. o sea, esos pantalones, o sea, Están alguien me ofreció, me ofreció como 100 dólares. Cool. Thank you, thank you. <risas> eh, me ofreció como 100 dólares por los pantalones y creo que en la pulga me salieron como 50 centavos. O sea, oh, wow. Wow. o sea, y pues puedes sacar muchas cosas buenas en la pulga, pero yo, o sea, yo voy a todos lados para pa buscar. Uh-huh. Había un señor, no sé si se acuerdan del app, creo que era Leco. Leco, o sea, do you know OfferUp? Yes. OfferUp, uh-huh. so they bought Leco. So this oh, app okay. was like, oof, like a long time ago, it was like, Oh, let go. Yeah, let go. That's cool. Yeah, so antes era let go. I think offer up bought them, something like that. But me habían salido unas playeras de Selena. Okay. Y creo que quería como 30 dólares cada playera. Something like that. Y esas playeras, yo sabía que se vendían como a 100 dólares. Yeah. Mm-hmm. ¿Verdad? So fui, oh, le, le, le mandé mensaje y dije, oh, ¿cuántas tienes? Y me dice, ay, tengo como una bolsa. Yo, yo oh, pensando, yo pensando una bolsita. Una o sea, bolsita. Mm-hmm. O sea, voy... Creo que fui como con 100 dólares uh-huh. para ir a comprarle. Le digo, pues te, te voy y te compro todas, ¿verdad? O sea, pensando uh-huh. que tenía 10. Uh-huh. Y le voy a decir, 100 dólares por todas. O sea, déjame las 10 dólares cada una. Uh-huh. Viene y una bolsa, o sea, una bolsa, una trash bag chingona. O sea, grande. Uh-huh. Creo que salió con dos. Y eran uh-huh. como 50 playeras. 50 playeras y quería 30 dólares cada una. O sea, 1,500 dólares uh-huh. quería por todas las playeras. Creo uh-huh. que tenía 16. Uh-huh. Tenía 16. Y estaba con mi papá, él me dio right, y me dice... So that's o sea, 16,000. I think it was 1,500. Oh, 1,500. Yeah, 1,500. Yeah. <laughs> no, but... Um, so basically, me dice, oye, like, le digo, déjame ir a sacar el dinero porque quiere 30 dólares a huevo. O sea, no quiere no. bajarle, mm-hmm. o sea, quiere... Si te las vas a llevar todas, aún así quiere... Creo que lo bajé a 1,200. Okay. Pero dice mi papá... Tienes, o sea, un... Oh, what I was saying was what you would make. Oh, I made way more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, creo que esas, cada una la vendí como a 200 dólares. Oh. Yeah, so you made more than 16,000. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's amazing. And that was like my first big hit. And that's what like kind of blew me up. You know, it was like, oh, the 16-year-old that found, you know, like, like $15,000. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, but it's like, bueno, regresando a la pregunta... O sea, yo ya tengo mucho haciendo esto donde puedo encontrar cosas. O sea, digo, puedo conocer gente que, oye, uh, tengo esta cosa o tengo esa, uh-huh. uh, tengo un cliente que tal, 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 tiene muchas playeras, cosas así. Hasta ahorita vengo de, de mi landlord, me había dicho, oye, mi primo tiene muchas playeras así de, de bandas o uh-huh. de los 2000, así, cosas así. Y, o sea, gente que, o sea, un primo, el amigo de mi tío, de mi primo, o sea, uh-huh. tiene unas playeras, te las vendo, que okay? yo como, sí, está bien. Y, pues, para ti, o sea, es, ah, pues, me va a dar 100 dólares por... 
20 playeras, o sea, uh, yeah, yeah, o sea para pa uno, uno piensa, ah, pues está bien, y, y yo pues, eh, en dos, tres playeras que veo, sé que esas se van a 100 dólares, o sea, uh -huh. o hasta que 20 dólares, pero pues si me la está dando a 5, o sea, yo le saco, sí, yeah. yo le saco, pero sí, o sea, much, mucha gente siempre me pregunta, oye, llévame a donde tú vas, y yo como, no es tan simple, o sea, yeah. yo creo que en dos días me gasto con mil dólares mínimo. Okay. O sea, hoy me gasté como 500 dólares en puras playeras. Si ven mi carro ahorita, o sea, uh, está, está lleno. Está lleno, ahí tengo todo, todo el chinchero chinga, pero, uh -huh. pero ya, o sea, mucha gente me pregunta, oye, o sea, llévame, te pago. Hasta gente de California me dice, Ala. oye, te pago, te pago para que me lleves donde vas. Y yo como, no es tan simple, o sea, mucha gente se quiere meter a donde yo voy, pero no... No. It's a business. It's a business, o like, sea, yeah. ninguno va, ah, sí, ven, ven. Like, give me the blueprint, give me the blueprint to your yeah, business. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's like, no mm -hmm. one's gonna. Yeah, but gotta yeah, do the like, dirty work. Exactly, mm -hmm. and it's like, yo por tener tantos años y conocer a tanta gente, o sea, ya tengo donde poder ir, pero, o sea, para ir, para alguien que quiera empezar, o hasta nomás para uno mismo, yo digo que en la pulga, o hasta en eventos así, como los, 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 uh, los pop-ups, Pop -up. los, Cosas así, o sea. And get familiar with vintage items. Because yeah. a lot of people, I mean, me being one of them, is mm -hmm. not very familiar with vintage clothing. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, you see the clothes and you're like, that's probably, like, you, you get $10 for yeah. it. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you don't yeah, know. Exactly. And it's like, it's cool because here in Laredo, people aren't expensive because you, you go to a pop up in San Antonio, you go to a pop up in Austin. Minimum, shirts are going to be $20. Like, I just mm -hmm. got back from College Station yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was up there and a shirt or, like, like, you know, sweaters that I would sell for like $5, $10. They're selling up there for like 35, 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, like you should really take advantage of people here in yeah. Laredo, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like people in Laredo are just, you know, either wanting to make an extra buck, you know, they, they like doing it or, uh, you know, it's, you should kind of try to shop here in Laredo if you're trying to thrift, stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. I do recommend those pop ups, you know, I, you guys should follow or anyone watching. If you guys are interested in going to these events, um, Amigos Vintage usually posts, it's like a cute little flyer, they'll be like, Snoopy or like a little mm -hmm. graphic design. And usually they'll post um, about these events, so you guys should really go check that out or like keep that notification because yeah. that's usually what they post. Like it'll be like one post a month, and you know everyone will go there and everyone will sell. And there's a lot of local businesses that you can go support and show love to, and it's it's a good way to like support the community and not just that, but you know support the environment as well. So, yeah. You know you're you're giving back to the community in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's really fun to do that as well. Y de hecho. O sea, mucha gente de Nuevo Laredo cruza a, uh -huh. a los strip shops de sí. acá a uh -huh. comprar ropa que allá no encuentras. Uh -huh. Porque mucha de la ropa que aquí la gente desecha sí. se va a las pulgas sí, de, de, de allá. Sí. Oh, wow. O hasta sí. más al, al, al interior del país. Sí, sí. Y es bien interesante cómo... O sea, de los dos lados de la frontera, la gente está haciendo lo mismo. Sí, uh -huh. sí. O sea, aquí la, las nuevas generaciones, vaya, están comprando lo que a lo, a lo mejor nuestros papás o nuestros abuelos dirían de que, ay, no. Sí, sí, no. Yeah. Y la gente de aquel lado también hace lo mismo. Sí. No, y, y eso es una cosa que, o sea, nunca se va a acabar. La ropa usada uh -huh. nunca, nunca va a ser, se o sea, nunca se va a salir de negocio porque, como dices, o sea, hasta para cruzar ropa para México uh -huh. es ilegal. Yeah. Cruzando ropa usada para sí. México es ilegal. Or even like we want to buy clothes from Mexico and bring it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like, can't do that. You can't do that. You need to pay like you, uh, yeah, a, a fee or something. Stuff, but yeah. no, crossing to Mexico, no, like at all. Really? Like no puedes cruzar pacas, o sea, cosas así. Sí, para, no, para México. tienes que pagar impuestos porque es, es, ellos mm -hmm. saben que es para vender. Sí, o sea, no, Entonces, no la puedes cruzar, o sea, tienes que. Es como mercancía. Sí, yeah. tienes, que que tienes que pagar. Hacer como un cargo ship, o sea, es sí. chingos de, de documents que tienes que, que hacer, o sea, no nomás pagas el, uh -huh. el tax, o sea, no, tienes que cruzarla con papeles, o sea. Sí. Y, o sea, eso aún así nunca se va a pasar, o sea, nunca se va a pasar porque. La ropa usada, o sea, no todos pueden ir a comprar. Sí, en, no, ropa nueva. Sí, ropa nueva, uh -huh. o sea, vas a, hasta Walmart, vas a Walmart, una playera nueva te cuesta 20 dólares, sí, 15 dólares, uh -huh. o sea, lo más barato, 5, 8 dólares cuando estén en sale. Sí. Pero si puedes ir a, a comprar a, a uno de estos sellers, los vintage sellers, te sacas, te vas, con 20 dólares, pues, o sea, 2, 3, 5 playeras que vas a usar todos los días, o sea, sí. te yeah. puedes tener tu, tu weekly cycle, o sea, yo yeah. tengo un closet lleno, o sea, sí. tengo... Tres closets que puras playeras de, de mi colección a veces no me las pongo, pero, o sea, si nunca tengo que, que ir a comprar ropa nueva, uh -huh. la ropa nueva nunca se va, o sea... Never get old. Exactly, uh -huh. like, 
you're never gonna you're never gonna need new clothing if you keep using the stuff so, are you know like yeah you know previous people have been and using. i think mm-hmm. the most satisfying part about it is that you're doing something sustainable something mm-hmm. good for the environment exactly and you're helping people yeah because it's actually people that are like benefiting from it and not like a big corporation yeah. like Shein mm-hmm. or Forever 21. Exactly, exactly, and it's like... So I think it's a win-win and some people would rather pay that dollar knowing it's sustainable than sí. something that's fast fashion. Si, si yeah. te acuerdas de Jess, la que trabaja aquí, Jessica, la, la amiga de tu prima. Sí. Sí, <laughs> ok. Bueno, ella traía su ropa aquí a la oficina y la vendía. Uh-huh. Y era ropa muy buena, uh-huh. porque ella regularmente se compraba y ya no le gustaba y me, mejor la traía sí. aquí a la oficina. Y nosotras todas aquí le comprábamos ropa. Yo tengo mucha ropa de Jess. Sí. Sí. <laughs> Gracias, Jess. <laughs> Shout out, Jess. Shout out Jess. Sí. She the plug. Uh-huh. No, but yeah. No, sí. y así. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Sorry go I ahead. remember um, there was this other girl. Her name is Jenny. I don't know if you've heard of her. She also does, like, I think she did vintage. Um, selling, but I like did a, an event for her. Mm-hmm. We, were, we were like modeling vintage clothes. I don't know oh, if you heard about it. Oh, I did see. I did see that. It was like that. downtown. Yeah. yeah, it was downtown. Like, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I like that's where I bought my Looney Tunes and like my yeah, Snoopy yeah, yeah. pullover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. no, yeah, there's there's a huge vintage community here in Laredo, and I, you know it's like everyone usually supports each other. Everyone knows each other. Mm-hmm. I really don't know people by their name, but I know them uh, by, by their username. Sí, uh-huh. yeah. You know, it's like, sí. a ustedes los conozco como what the peck. Uh-huh. You know, I, I, I don't know your name, you know, like, mucha gente me dice Ramón o San Ramón o piensan uh-huh. que mi nombre es Ramón, uh-huh. pero, o sea, mucha gente se conoce así, pero sí, o sea, hay una tienda nueva aquí en Laredo que se llama Nostalgia. Nostalgia, uh-huh. Texas, um, es unos amigos míos, pero, o sea, lo bueno es que poco a poco Laredo empieza a crecer, you know, people start opening stuff here in Laredo, mm-hmm. you know, more supporters yeah. are, are going to be going out into Laredo because they see what Laredo can do. Yeah, and Laredo, I, I think the best way to grow here in Laredo is word of mouth. Yeah, Just have 100%. to, like, run yeah. the word, yeah. Yeah, and it's, like, like good thing for these podcasts because I can come here and, you know, mm-hmm. like, free Spread free sponsorship, word. free see? sponsorship from yeah. my homies, and it's, like, even though, like, I don't get anything from it. It's like Laredo, you know, yeah. grows. I yeah. mean, you're helping your, yeah. your friends. And yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, that's satisfying. See, and like the good thing about this community or like, you know, there's like the regular Laredo ones and then there's like people like us. You know, it's like mm. the free thinkers, the people who want Laredo uh-huh. to grow for the better, see. you know. And it's like that community is growing mm-hmm. like rapidly. And I love that about Laredo because it's like, Mucha gente se burlaba de cómo yo me vestía. Yeah. O sea, se, me ven y dicen, o sea, qué chingados tiene puesto ese niño, o sea, mm-hmm. qué chingados tiene ese, su pelo así, mm-hmm. o sea, mucha gente se burla, pero después pasan los años y, sí. y después, oye, me gusta cómo se, se pone la ropa de ese chamaco, yeah. me acuerdo, porque siempre yo me pongo como para pa Navidad o mm-hmm. cosas festivas con mi familia, me pongo mis bell bottoms, y una playera de los setentas, o sea, bien así, bien chacalona, ¿verdad? Uh-huh. Y mi abuela siempre me toma fotos y, ¿te pareces a tu abuelo? Y es porque mi abuelo tenía el fro. Ah, so, ok. So está, está chistoso como diferentes generaciones, o sea, ah, te, te ves bien bonito. Y después otros, ah, o sea, la ropa sí, bien vea. Yeah. Y ahora nuestra generación está como, o sea, esto es, esto es la moda, o sea, esto uh-huh. es lo chido que, oh, you were thrifted clothes, that's cool, sí, you know, uh-huh. that's badass, you know, it's, it's cool because, like, it's getting bigger, you know, yeah. like, people are supporting each other, people are doing good for the environment, I mean, like, back then, it was, like, a hip, like, being a hippie was an yeah. insult, uh-huh. where it's, like, now it's kind of, like, a, a culture, even, like, you know, yeah. not really in Laredo, but, yeah, more know, like Austin, yeah, yeah exactly, mm-hmm. it's, like, to keep it weird, or but, the yogis, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. like, it's, it's still, it's, like, it's really cool how there's, like, like, I love seeing those, uh, those TikTok videos, where it's, like, um, you go to, I think it's, like, your sustainable store, and you go uh, and you get like the orange juice and you go uh-huh. and you get like the toothpaste sí. buds and stuff like that. Like, I love those. Like, those mm-hmm. are super cool. I don't think I've seen those. No, yeah. Sí, en, en Nuevo Laredo hay una tienda donde hay el champú, el yeah. acondicionador de tal marca. Oh, and you go and Ajá, y tú mm-hmm. rellenas todo. Yeah. O hay arroz a granel, así mm-hmm. como en, si estuvieras en un mercado, yeah, pero es una tiendita. Cool. Yeah, it's Entonces, sustainable. antes era como que los mercados... Like eh, que hay quien va a ir al mercado. Sí. Sí. Mejor voy al HIV o al Walmart, al Walmart o algo yeah. así. Y ahorita otra vez está regresando yeah. lo mismo. And Entonces, that's todo. Amazing. So, mm-hmm. like, people can grow their business. Sí. Yeah. yeah, no, and history just repeats itself. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because, like, I think I was telling that to a friend, and, like, he does, like, the thrifting and stuff, and he's like, yo, do you think these clothes belong to dead people? 
Netflix, like, pues I mean, sí, yeah, pues, sí. pues a quién, o sea, a quién, sí, de quién era. Sí, pero, yeah, but, never yeah. Know. yeah, no, and that, that's another thing. It's yeah. like, a lot, a lot of people are like, like, have you ever had like a, a, weir, a weird experience, yeah. like uh -huh. a, a ghost experience? I really believe in energy, so I'm oh, like, yeah. things carry energy. Oh, no, have for you sure. had an experience like that? I've never had an experience, but I know of a, of a couple who, um, they, they do like antiquing and stuff like that. Okay. And they brought in, I think it was like a, a doll or like this like old doll. And I stay away from dolls. Annabelle. That shit is crazy. Sí, sí, sí. No, 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 no. No, no, no. O sea, no, no, no. Dice, ¿y los mexicanos? Con eso no. Sí, o sea, no, no, no se juega. No, pero creo que se lo habían dado. O no sé si lo compraron o se lo daron porque estaba viejísima la doll. O sea, y estaba fea. O sea, uh -huh. no sé, pero la tenían en una, en una shelf. Y, o sea, que de repente, oh, que okay, something would fall off the shelf. O tenían como unas tipo, like... Uh, las glass doors esas, yeah. y que se abría sola y, no, eso, yeah. oh, wow. y que de repente, pa y se cerraba sola. Yo como, no, wey, o sea, yo con, no, eso, yeah. con eso no. Y ha habido muchas historias que, o sea, cuando estás buscando, o sea, una parte que ya mucha gente conoce es uh, los Goodwill Bins. Mm -hmm. Los Goodwill okay. Bins. Mm -hmm. Mucha gente, apenas abrieron unos aquí en Laredo, pero yo veo videos de gente en Austin y que se encuentran, o sea, popó. O sea, drogas, o sea... La you mean, you're, that, the Goodwill bins, you're supposed to drop off clothes that you want to donate? No, so the Goodwill bins is like, um... Because there's like the bin outside of Goodwill where you drop yeah. off clothes. And the Goodwill bins is basically like, um... They're trash? No, no, it's like, before they put it out, or like, I think it's like, the stuff they don't want, they put it in like, in a bin, they roll it out, and people can look through it. Oh. So it's like, it's mm. super cool. Yeah. But, um, basically, like, there's stuff there that, like, you wouldn't even imagine. Yo me acuerdo una vez que fui... And I think I got like a bag full of poop, what? and I like yeah yeah a straight up bag full of poop, <laughs> and then like I like grabbed it <laughs> and, I was, and I felt it. Pero qué bueno que todavía está en la bolsa. And I was like, someone probably thought that was a trash can or something. Dude, I don't know, dude. But I was like, dude, what the Crazy. fuck? Like, porque pues te encuentras que o sea pistolas una vez. Hubo, hubo una historia no sé si vieron que creo que fue en Wyoming. No no me acuerdo, pero. Una señora en un Goodwill se encontraron una pistola Wicked. y pensaron que era, o sea, de mentiras. Uh -huh. O sea, porque estaba chiquitita y era una de las old ones, o sea, uh -huh. y estaba chiquitita y, ¡ay, mira! Y le hace ¡pum! Mm. Y la disparó, o sea, oh. y, y le dio, le dio en el estómago y se la llevaron al hospital. Oh, my God. ¿She shot herself or something? No, she shot someone else because they thought oh it was a toy gun. God. They thought it was a toy gun and we were like, what the fuck? No. That's crazy. And it's crazy because, like, there's times where, like, in those same bins, there'll be, like, animals. And that's, like, a super, super, super common thing. There's, like, rats. Like, I could probably ask a friend for a video right now and mm -hmm. show y'all. But, like, oh there's, like, straight up rats in those fucking bins. And people don't see that's that, that, we, that yeah. we put up with that. It's, yeah. like, it's, like, we're out here, you know, like, sweating, you know, like, yeah. taking hours of our day to mm -hmm. get, like, you know, 10 t-shirts. You know, mm -hmm. some people only get, like, one or two t-shirts. But it's like. But some days you end up finding the, like ex a jackpot. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's like some people also don't see we're there with rats, you know, yeah. we're there with dog shit, you know. It's like a friend of mine actually just like last week, like grabbed a pal of cat shit, like grabbed it, and he sent us a picture like before even like yeah. Oh my god. I was like damn, like that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But like yeah. 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 So I guess like talking about your story and like um, your whole journey. I don't know, maybe you can tell us about some hurdles you've had or like, tell us about the journey. I, I think definitely like when I was starting, the hardest part was getting support. Like no one supported me. It was like, it was even to the point where like my family was like, they make fun of me. Like there was one time, fui a, creo que es, es una capilla en San Marcos. Okay. No sé cómo se llama, pero fui y o sea, fui con mi familia tal y era cuando primero empecé y había una playera Nike que era como uh, C. Jack, no, C. Jill Cross Jack. O sea, una, nomás era una regular t-shirt, pero esa antes era como collector, o sea, un colector. Uh -huh. Y la encontré a 50 centavos y tenía como bien fea las, las ¿cómo se llama? ¿Axila se dice? Uh -huh. Y tenía bien fea, bien como stained y tenía todo el, el, el deodorant y así. Uh -huh. Y después um, mi familia, todos me, me, me ven y ¿por qué estás comprando esos 50 centavos? O sea, los 50 centavos cualquiera tiene, ¿no? Sí. Es pocket change. Uh -huh. y, y todos se burlaron de mí, o sea, riéndose de mí, uh -huh. porque compré esta camisa usada y, o sea, la, creo que la limpié y le quité el, no sé, con OxyClean y Bleach o quién sí. sabe, ¿quién, quién chingas. Pero le, le quité todo y la puse, creo que en, en Instagram y la vendí como 50 dólares. 
Pero, wow. pero eso fue, o sea, una de las cosas que más me, o sea, tuve que superar yo. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's hard, like, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think it's hard in any career, mm -hmm. any business, rejection, obviously, sometimes can knock you down, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to fight that, because mm -hmm. if you have a, a vision and a dream, it's there yeah. for a reason, and yeah. I feel like you just need to pursue it and yeah, not no. give up. Same. Yeah, and that's, that's probably, like, um, one of the toughest things was, like, kind of having to to stay with this even though like people would make fun of me yeah like in high school like like when i was doing those pop-ups making you know 50 dollars 80 dollars you know people would be like dude what the fuck are you doing like like you know study for something that will actually make you money you know and it's like i remember one guy he would like not like make fun of me but he was like he was on the way to be like a doctor you know that was mm -hmm. his plan in life and he was gonna go to this like school and he was already in or blah 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 mm -hmm. and Excuse me. I told him, um, I was like, he was like, hey, I think that's when I first started making money. I think I had made like $1,000 that month. And to me, I was like, holy shit, you know, you know, mm -hmm. which 16 year old is making $1,000 yeah, a month? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, so what are, you, what are you gonna do in life? And I was like, oh, I mean, probably this like vintage stuff, bro. It's, it's really fun. I, I enjoy it. You know, I've always loved clothes. Excuse me. And he was like, he was like, really? I was like, yeah, yeah, like, it's it's cool. Maybe, like, a, little, a small shop here in Laredo, you know? Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. Be able to stay here and, you know, go out of town to, like, venture, you know, so uh, mm -hmm. network, stuff like that. Yeah. And I was, like, really happy, you know, talking about it. Like, so that someone was actually asking about, like, mm -hmm. yeah. my interests. And then he was like, damn. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, shit, you weren't, like, happy for me? <laughs> I, was, I was like, you don't, you don't see my vision? Yeah, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, shit, like, you're not going to support, right? Yeah. But But he was like, you know, this guy was, like, going to study to be a brain surgeon. Yeah. You know, so he's like he's gonna be someone you know or like in his eyes he's gonna in be his someone. eyes yeah. Yeah. and then he sees me and he's like and i remember not doing anything right like yeah, yeah. like praying like, on your downfall kinda. exactly he was like damn you're gonna be a bum and i was like i was like so what i did and i think like think like looking back at it now is like real cocky and like i feel bad for doing it but i showed him i was like hey, look bro like this is how much i made like in the last three days and i think it was like 700 bucks and he was like oh shit And, he, and that shut him up real quick. And it's like, it's really sad that like a lot of people won't see your vision or won't support you because you're happy. But when they see that there's money in it, they're like, oh shit, you should do that. Yeah, Same. and something that I think is very admirable about what you're doing is that you're actually passionate and it makes you happy and mm -hmm. you're doing what you love. And yeah. you're so young to like, Same. you have it figured out. Yeah. Like you're doing what you love. And I just feel like everybody should do something they love mm -hmm. because yeah. we all love something. And the world is so big, and there's so many different niches, yeah. and there's a niche for everybody. Yeah, for sure. Like, if you want to do something, you just have to do it. Someone's gonna like it. Someone's yeah. gonna appreciate it. Yeah, See. yeah like you yeah. never, you never know who you're gonna impact on, like with, with what you're doing. Exactly, See. exactly. So just, it's always good to just keep pushing. Yeah. Just never stop, and even if someone tells you like, dude, you're doing the wrong thing, like just be like, bro. I don't care. You, I don't care what you got to yeah. say. I'm doing what I love. Like, exactly, this is exactly. fun to me. This, this is cool. Like, it supports me. But yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah, no. have fun. No, y cada quien, cada quien tiene su su camino mm -hmm. en su vida. O sea, sí, a lo sí. mejor él iba a ser el mejor cirujano. Sí. Pero tal vez digo, ojalá uh -huh. sí sea feliz. Sí, pero sí. Yeah. cada quien tiene su propia definición de felicidad, su propia definición de éxito. Mm -hmm. Sí. Y exactly todo lo que sube baja sí, y todo no, lo sí. que entonces la vida da muchas vueltas sí, no, sí. al final del día ves a gente que a lo mejor estaba contigo en la escuela digo porque me ha pasado y en la escuela eran pues ya sabes los bullies sí. los que eran súper los populares los populares ya sabes sí, ¿no? sí. su vida y ya empiezas a crecer empiezas a, a ser más adulto digo tú todavía estás chiquito pero sí. lo vas a ver y, y yo creo que siempre va a ser así y la gente ya empiezan a, a bajarle sí. a sus a sus humos sí. empiezan a ser más human sí, Ajá. Sí. entonces yeah, uno de chiquito puede decir mil y un cosas pero sí. ya empiezas a crecer y la vida cambia sí no yeah. y, y eso creo que era una cosa que yo aprendí de muy chico exacto que o sea, hasta la gente, los adultos, o sea, uh -huh. gente de 20 años, cuando yo empecé a los 15, uh -huh. se burlaba, o no se burlaba, pero me decían como, um, ¿cómo decir? O sea, no estés haciendo esto, o no, tratando de enseñarme cómo hacer lo yeah. que yo hago, uh -huh. y o sea, estaba agradecido que me querían enseñar, 
pero muchos no lo decían. Con como... las buenas intenciones, se siente la mala vibra sí. de volada cuando sí. la gente te dice, ay sí, pero en realidad sí, o sea, se siente la mala vibra. Sí, o sea, te están echando la sal, ¿no? uh -huh. o sea, y mucha gente así era y yo aprendí de, o sea, aprendí de eso y a los 15 años, 14 años yo empecé a decir, o sea, me vale uh -huh. lo que la gente me diga, o sea, yo voy a hacer lo que yo voy a hacer porque siempre va a haber los haters. Sí. Siempre va a haber la gente que no te va a hacer support o que van a decir, oye, ¿por qué estás haciendo esas cosas? O sea, vas a llevar And toda la vida, o sea. I think it's important to not even judge them or mm -hmm. waste your energy getting yeah. mad mm -hmm. because people are not, like, don't have to understand your dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to understand that they don't understand your dream. Some people yeah. aren't haters. They just simply don't understand. Like, yeah. maybe that guy that's going to be a doctor, he's, that's the traditional way yeah. of success. success. That's mm -hmm. what he thinks defines success. Yeah. But success comes from a lot of different things. Yeah. Some people, like, I don't even think um, being rich means, like, having a lot of money. I think oh, no. you can be rich in love, rich in family, Happiness. rich in friends. Yes, yeah. just actually doing what you love. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, for you sure know? is. Yeah, no, and that, that's one thing that, like, I love about Laredo, that people are, you know, like I said, this community of, like, free thinkers is sí. growing. And, Bastante. Like, yeah, like, está creciendo, y no nomás, o sea, grande, pero hay mucha gente que está empezando a hacer lo que quiere. Mm -hmm. O sea, por, por ejemplo, Justin, mm -hmm. o sea, cuando vas a los shows de Justin, se ve toda la emoción, o sea, toda la gente que está ahí, están como gritando, y, o sea, divirtiéndose, y yo he ido muchas veces, y mm -hmm. mi, mi novia le encanta ir a los shows de esos, y... O sea, si no fuera por Justin, tuviéramos que ir a San Antonio sí. o a Austin uh -huh. a ver shows, algo parecido. Uh -huh. Y o sea, y lo mismo, Justin está empezando a, a enseñarle a mucha gente que, oye, y a lo mejor sí quiero empezar una band. O sea, uh -huh. y, y estábamos saliendo de un show, yo y unos amigos de Justin, y los otros mismos, oye, vamos a empezar una band, uh -huh. ¿ok? Y sí, en eso estamos. O sea, y si, no fuera, si no fuera por Justin, fu o sea, estuviéramos... Inspired you guys, yeah. Exactly, so it's like... The more people that are coming to this community, the more it's going to grow, the more mm -hmm. happiness is going to spread throughout sí. Laredo because it's like, now, you know, maybe me and my friends starting this band, maybe it's not long term, but hey, maybe that one guy is going to become a rock star, you know, sí. or like maybe us doing these shows is going to inspire someone else to, you know, be an artist or yeah. be, you know, a photographer. That dream. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's, it's really cool how this. There, there is a lot of talented people that sí. literally, they're just, they don't believe in themselves and they're scared and they're scared what people are going to think and they don't go for it. They're scared of and rejection. Yeah. Exactly. And it's so, exactly. it's so sad because it's like, dude, you're so talented. Yeah. Like the world deserves to see like how beautiful you can sing or how beautiful you can like play the piano like yeah. share that with the world you never know you might get a record deal mm -hmm. exactly yeah you might get that bag you might get one <laughs> yeah i think the, the biggest thing about that is not just being like scared of rejection but like specifically here in laredo scared of being judged because yeah. mm -hmm. like la gente aquí te juzga con todo lo que yeah. da mm -hmm. o it's sea. a little bit like sometimes some people here a little small-minded just because mm -hmm. it's very traditional yeah mm -hmm. yeah i think laredo and, is and i've learned to not judge them because it's like you don't know <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's like when, when like everyone like I think a very common thing of Laredo is like when you think of Laredo it's like oh they're always behind on the trend like uh -huh. it's like always and it's true because it's like yeah. like you see like thrifting thrifting was popular you know 2015 2016 <laughs> in California and just now 2022 2023 yeah. vintage has become popular in Laredo and yeah. it's like that's why it's very important for people like you and the community that already like mm -hmm. believes in like just being themselves yeah. and not caring what other people think is mm -hmm. very important because I feel like the more that grows, the more Laredo is going to grow. Exactly. And the more yeah. the people are just going, they're going to have to adapt because they don't yeah. have a choice. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I think I think at one point it's going to be more free thinkers than the classic traditional sí. thinkers in Laredo. And I just, I love to think that like eventually everyone will be able to do something that they love mm -hmm. and it's like like when i when i was coming in here i was like damn this place is nice uh, <laughs> uh, like this looks <laughs> like some, somewhere in new york or san francisco you know it's like yeah. so it's like it's cool to think that there's like little little hidden gems like this in laredo where it's mm -hmm. like you go to places like cultura or frontera it's sí. like you see the vibe and it's like oh damn this place is cool as hell mm -hmm. like you wouldn't think this is in laredo yeah and like it's funny because like i i, I get to travel a lot doing what i do networking mm -hmm. stuff like that And it's funny because there's times where I'll be here in Laredo posting that I'm at, you know, this event mm. or posting that I'm at here. And they're like, oh, damn, that's cool, bro. At? Yeah, are you like, are you here in San Antonio? Are you like in Austin? <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, bro, downtown Laredo. Like, <laughs> like hey, that's, that's where it's at. I, I feel like downtown Laredo is... is sí, tiene mucha magia. Sí, tiene mucha historia. Sí, sí y eso es lo que, lo que 
atrae a la gente, sí. que, like, the history, uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. y cuando ves a downtown está como, oh, damn, it's like a cool little spot, sí, uh -huh. y por eso mucha gente va y hacen sus photographs uh -huh. there, yeah. you know, and it's like that, well, what was that movie, it was like a trumpeteer or something like that, the one they were filming here, sí, Loredo. sí, lo vi, like, the boy who can trumpet, uh -huh. something uh -huh. like that, but it's like, damn, it's cool to think, like, like these little spots in Laredo yeah. actually exist, you know? Yeah, like honestly, I think everything's what you make it. And Laredo, I mean, there's so many people here mm -hmm. and so many like different types of businesses mm -hmm. that I think we should all just try and like look into sí. because yeah. there is a lot of um, growth here already. Yeah, for sure. To like appreciate. Sí. Yeah, no, I, I just hope that like Laredo will get to that point where it's like something opens up and it's gonna stay open because it's like uh -huh. like i'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that place uh project boyo it's like this like vegan place in san antonio i think they're from austin it's austin i've been there yeah wait i don't know if it's the place okay well, go and, on <laughs> anyways um so it's like me and my girlfriend had tried it because they had like a tour where they were like going around america mm -hmm. and we had tried it and they were gonna open a location here in laredo and like the first thing me and my girlfriend said were like it's not gonna last Like, it's, like, it's a vegan alternative, you know, it's, mm -hmm. like, it's not gonna, and it's a bit more expensive, it's, it's really good in my opinion, mm -hmm. but it's, like, it's not gonna last, and it's, like, you look at, like, you, you look at that mindset of Laredo, and it's, like, damn, that's really sad, you know, it's, like, damn, that's really sad, because it's, like, you wish something like that would last, or, like, there's, like, little, you know, like, that, uh, like, that photo booth place down, down at the outlets, Like, that's really cool. Like, the ah, more sí. you can go take pictures. En los outlets, sí, yeah, sí, where it's like the Bad Bunny thing. Like, mm -hmm. oh, like that. Cool. It's cool how, like, there's little places like that in Laredo who are, like, trying to get with, like, you know, the times and the mm -hmm. trends. Yeah. And it's, like, it's, it's awesome to see little, like, businesses like that thrive in Laredo or, like, that they're actually sustainable or lasting because, you know, I'm talking from experience where I had, you know, a, a small pop-up shop and it was sustainable, but it wasn't profitable. Mm -hmm. And that's the sad thing about Laredo. Yeah. That, like, They can support, but if it's just the same people supporting you, it's it's really hard, sí. you know, yeah. to be able to do that. But I'm glad that like now this new like culture has come to Laredo, where it's like, let's go, you know, let's they want to support up. local businesses. Exactly. Yeah, it's better yeah. than supporting franchises. Yeah. Sí, like, no, like na, ya nadie quiere. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Ya nadie compra McDonald's. Bueno, yo no. Bueno, <laughs> sometimes. Bueno, yo no. Vengo con un spicy chicken sandwich ahorita comiendo chicken. McDonald's hits. Yeah, it does. Hey, a dollar hits. A dollar for a chicken sandwich is really good. Sí, right? sí, sí. Bueno, no. era un ejemplo. Sí, sí. No, pero sí, o sea, tiene, es buen ejemplo porque, o sea, aquí no sé si... Con, pues ahí en cultura uh -huh. es um, Happy Burger, se llama. Uh -huh. Happy Burger. Me encanta esa hamburguesa. O sea, siempre ponía y, y, o sea, siempre cada vez que iba, iba como una vez a la semana, ponía que estaba allí. Y hasta una vez el dueño estaba ordering yo una hamburguesa y el dueño me vio y me dice, y le dice al que me estaba cobrando, no le cobres, no le cobres. <risa> Él siempre nos da publicidad. Sí, sí, y o sea, yo como, damn, that's cool, you know, it's like, damn, it's cool how, like, you know, if you show that love, you'll get it back. And it's sí. like, it's like, I realized that time where it's like, damn, I do that, where it's like, I have those customers who always come mm -hmm. and they'll always spend like 10, 20, 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then there's like sometimes where they can only afford one shirt. And I'm like, ah, it's cool. Just, you know, just take mm -hmm. those shirts. Mm -hmm. And For it's sure. cool how like. And it's contagious. It's sí. momentum basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, like, That's that, that love. Exactly. It's like, it's cool how that love exists in Laredo because like anywhere else you don't see that. You yeah. know, it's like. Many sí, people, no te conoce, no. No te voy a dar nada. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And it's like, it's cool how here in Laredo, you know, it's like you love to give back. And like at these events, like. I'm not sure if it's still going on, but when we first started doing, um, I know, I think 50% of like the fees for the sellers, they would donate it to the fridge. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it's, I think essentially it was like, they would load like a fridge with mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, food and stuff like that for, you know, people in need, mm -hmm. homeless, stuff like that. Okay. So it's, it's really cool how like, you know, little, little things like that spark a conversation in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's like, you'll get to, you'll get to support here, but you don't know what that support is going to, you know, thrive into. So. Route, yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's really cool how Laredo's growing and, you know, how how much it has and, like, during the pandemic when everyone exactly. started their small That's business. Exactly. That's literally what I was just thinking. COVID, everybody started their, their small, small business. business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn. Because all, all the businesses shut down. Like, yeah. all the kind mm -hmm. of, like, Yeah, so it was, like, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah so everybody, mm -hmm. was just, everybody just got on the wave. And, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Flowing. Maybe we can talk about maybe um, TikTok a little bit and how that has grown. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like That's where a lot of people, like, they just, like, they go from zero to a hundred. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I yeah, just... Yeah, kids in our generation now are just on TikTok like crazy, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. No, I just like started doing yeah. TikTok. I just started doing TikTok, and I think it was... I had done one a couple years ago, 
And I remember I got like, I think it was like 100, 500 views. It was like 100 like, likes, it was like 500 views. And I was like, damn, that's super <laughs> cool. I was super excited. And yeah. then um, I just stopped because I was like, okay, this is getting nowhere, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then I did one recently and I got like 60,000 views, something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Y muchísima gente me empezó a seguir. Creo que tenía como 200 followers y ahora tengo como 900 y algo. O sea, que nice. no es mucho, pero o sea... Mm -hmm. But, that, but in the amount of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was like in a, in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Y después, o sea, por eso mismo, o sea, TikTok te, me ayudó mucho a, a poder tener como un, un sustainable online sales. Porque pues mm -hmm. yo nomás vendía y vendía como yo ponía lo que encontraba en un día y se vendía en esos mismos días. Y si no, al fin de la semana un cliente de San Antonio venía y yo se lo vendía a él, o sea, todo. O lo okay. guardaba para los pop-ups y ya que no se vendía, iba a San Antonio y yo lo vendía todo. Okay. Pero, o sea, lo bueno de, o sea, como esta misma generación, ven estas cosas y, ah, la está bien machín, o sea, mm -hmm. o hasta mucha gente con los mismos celos, o sea, ¿cómo puedes encontrar todas esas cosas? Pero mm -hmm. con que te pongan eso en el TikTok, mm -hmm. te ayuda en el algoritmo, o sea, yeah. mm -hmm. y quiero decir como 50% of the comments que agarré eran que, where do you get this? Or, Hey, bro, it was all trash. Whatever mm. you found was trash. Yo como, muchas gracias por el support. Uh -huh. Muchas gracias por los comments. Thank you porque... for the views. My views going up. Thank Ex you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's like, I, th I think that's, that's one of the biggest things here in Laredo. Or just in general, you, you as a person should spread love. And I think that it's really cool how in Laredo, you know, yeah. that, you know, spread of love is just growing and growing yeah, and, and getting Instagram. bigger. Instagram, people just need to understand, like, instead of getting jealous or like that, you should use that as inspiration. And yeah. the more you admire it, the more you attract it to yeah. yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I love that, like how, um, when you're passionate about things, people will come, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, cause I know a lot of people who are doing this, who are just, who were just in it for the money. And then like three months, four months later, you know, they're no longer doing yeah. it. You know, it's like the, the people who are passionate are gonna be successful. I truly believe that. And I truly believe that like, if you love something, and you're, you know, going for it, even if you're not, you know, the richest person alive, but if you can survive and you can be doing mm -hmm. what you love, like, as cliche as it sounds, if you're doing what you love, you'll never work a day in your life, you know, it's yeah. like, you know, I'm working and I'm tired and like, you know, you'll physically be tired, but it's like, Pero es tuyo. Es, exactly, o sea, no lo ves como trabajo, lo ves mm -hmm. más como, you wake up every day motivated, excited mm -hmm. for the day, exactly, mm -hmm. and hey, yeah. if you're, if you're your own boss, man, that's always, so, that's always fun, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really cool how this, this community yeah. is going. I think it was very amazing having you and very inspiring. It inspired <laughs> me. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to talk about. No, yo creo que estamos bien. Sí. I kind of want to know, how, like, how, how did it, like, like, what was the first piece, what was the first shirt that you ever sold? Damn. I don't know if you remember that, but Damn. that's I mean, probably I, a long time ago. Yeah, but. I've, I've had, I mean, I get thousands of pieces, like, weekly, I guess, but... The first, first shirt, yeah. I think, oh, okay, okay. I think I have it archived, actually. But I just found it again. It wasn't the first piece I sold, but, like, my first like, post. Like kind of, like, expensive one that kind of, like, oh, made you go crazy. The first expensive one was a Nirvana shirt. So, nice. basically, I was at my friend's shop, uh, Irving. It was Amigos Vintage. Mm -hmm. So, I was there, and there was, like, a bunch of guys. I was, like, 15, 16 at the time. There was a bunch of guys there. Uh, it was probably like five, ten. They were all like selling to each other. You know, we would always have like those like business deals. We would all just go and chill. Yeah. And I saw a post on Facebook of this shirt. It was a uh, Joey Mars um, Aerosmith shirt. That yes. shirt, I think I, I had remember seeing it. It was like a three hundred dollars shirt, and I had seen it because a friend of mine from McAllen had it like in his personal collection. Mm -hmm. And I saw it in Laredo, mm -hmm. and it was like twenty five dollars. <laughs> and I saw it on hey. Facebook. I saw it on Facebook Market. And I was, I think, 15. I didn't have a car or anything like that. Yeah. So I, um, I think I, like, texted my, my dad. He couldn't. He was at work. I texted my mom. She couldn't. I texted my tío. I was texting so many people. And then... Um, just trying like, to get that shirt? Just, no, just trying to get a ride over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it was, like, 10 minutes from, from where I was. And I was, like, texting everyone. And I think I was, like, I called my brother. And he was out eating with his girlfriend. No, like, bro. I need y'all. I'm like, bro, like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, leave your girlfriend, you know, bring her with us. Like, I need to go for these shirts. Because it was a Joey Mars, and it was a Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Um, wow. Like, glow in the dark. It was super cool. It was like a $200 Sweet. shirt. And he had him at 25. And he had, like, the listing of, like, 
eBay where they were 300 and he had put like rare vintage shirt. He was just but trying to get his 20 bucks. Exactly. Yeah. He, was, he was just trying to sell. And yeah. I, I still know the guy. I still know the guy. Because um, like, no one's really going to buy a shirt for 300. Ex- like, exactly. It's like, like, dude, come on. Yeah. Be a little, little bit more realistic. Exactly. So I sh- I, I, I'm messaging him and, I, and I'm like, hey, do you have any more shirts? He's like, yeah, I, I have a couple. I can show them to you. And then I was like, but what's the address? He sent it to me and I guess he wasn't expecting me. But as soon as my brother picked me up, we head over there. I um I asked him like, hey, do you have those other shirts? He's like, yeah, they were washing. I don't know if you want to come back tomorrow or something. I'm like, no, that's oh, better. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was like, is it cool if you just like take them out of the wash and show me them? And he was like, they're a bit stained up. I just wanted to get the stains out. And I was like, I was like, could you show me? And he's like, yeah, okay. So he shows me them. Um, it was like a couple of like '90s like Kiss shirts, ACDC. Nice. Bon Jovi, like yeah. a bunch of shirts, and they were like twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars shirts. And then he gets to the one he was watch washing, which was the Nirvana, and it was like stained around the neck. And I think he was like, honestly, you know, it's stained. Give me like fifty cents. Oh, <gasps> yeah. No. And I, not, I heard sick. that, and that was like my first, you know, throw of the throw of the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I heard it, and I was like, okay. And I think I think the total was like fifty three, something like that, with all the shirts he got me. Nice. Or it was like, no, it was sixty three because it was like five other shirts and the Nirvana. And I think I only had like 60 bucks. So I was like, just take the 60 bucks. Like, yeah. please, you mm-hmm. know. So I get in the car and I'm like shaking. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? And my brother had never heard me cuss, you know? Like, yeah. he was like, dude. Like, You're 15. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. he, he was like, Probably, bro, hey, bro, watch your language. Yeah. He, he was like, bro, I'm like, dude, just like, why are you being all like, and my brothers were like hating on me. They were like, dude, calm the fuck down. Like, you don't even mm-hmm. know those bands. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, dude, this shirt is worth like $500. And then he was like, like bro like shut up like uh, mm-hmm. whatever. I didn't believe you kind of like bro you yeah exactly over. and then like whatever I ended up they ended up dropping me back up back up at the shop because I had like some clothes there mm-hmm. and I show up with like the shirts <laughs> and everyone was there and everyone was like dude you were here like 30 minutes ago like where did you go and get this and everyone was like super like not like jealous but they were all like kind of like hyped what? up like yeah, mm-hmm. they, they were all like what the hell like kind of in a shock where it's like mm-hmm. this 15 year old kid leaves for like 25 minutes with some treasure comes yeah. back with comes fucking back. $600 with, worth yeah, of dude, shirts it was like, it was like <laughs> probably like a thousand dollars worth of shirts and oh was, my god and I was like damn dude and then like I think I, I sold it for like $450 damn. and that, that wow. was like my first ever like and you got that shirt for 50 cents right exactly that's exactly. insane talk about POV yeah, yeah. POV <laughs> I feel ROI <laughs> yeah ROI return on investment yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes but it, it was really cool how that that like worked out and it was like just a, a really fun story that i like to share and there's you know plenty of more where that comes from but yeah yeah it's it's really cool <laughs> yeah Keep well fighting. um angel we really enjoyed having you, thank you, I'm, thank you. I'm super inspired honestly <laughs> me too. like I, I feel amazing you thank turned you, my thanks. day around thank you thank you. Yeah, no, thank you guys for having me yeah well sí, thank you fue, fue <laughs> for... yeah. thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys were as inspired as i was from this episode um, I'm going to give it up to Angel for the last words. Yeah, well, thank you guys for having me. But yeah, just, you know, support local, you know, uh, show, you show love to all your local vendors, all your small businesses, and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Depop. It's also on Ramon Vintage. Yay. And remember, sustainability speaks louder. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Listo. Yeah,